and everything. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So, here we go. <laughs> We're going to start this week's vlog off with a new bag alert. If you watch my shorts for YouTube, then you've already seen a bag. However, I've already opened her, but I wanted to officially introduce her to the community. Okay. <laughs> so here she is. To all my fuchsia pink girls, big pink raspberry pink raspberry tart all those ladies who love colors like that please um check out Vince Camuto and she is in the color shocking pink okay shocking pink she is absolutely gorgeous y'all she gorgeous she is called the Vince Camuto, Vince Camuto <laughs> Coquel Small Shoulder Bag. She was on clearance. You want to go to www.vincecamuto.com. He has an amazing sale. A lot of items are on clearance. I fell in love with her, not only because of her color, but also because of the handle. Look at that. Is that like bling blinging in the camera or what, you guys? She is just absolutely gorgeous. She is perfect for the spring and summer. I cannot wait to rock her with so many different outfits. Um, as you know, you can wear this with all black, all white, all any, any color. You know, I'm claiming it. Pink can go with anything right about now. So, yeah, let's um, take her stuffing out. I'm going to show you guys her inside. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so as always, because this is my second Miss Communal bag, um, it comes with a... It comes with a dust bag. And let's see, let's take out some more of this paper. I'm looking for the little car. Oh, here we go. I knew it was in here. And it also comes with the authenticity card as well. So, let me show y'all the inside of her because she is going to fit everything I need her to fit, okay? She's She want to do what she need to do. Here is the inside of her. This is really, really a hobo bag. But, you know, um, the shape of her is very... Similar to a hobo bag. She has a slip pocket on the inside. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, there you go. And then on the opposite side, it has a zipper pocket. Zipper pocket along with the Vince Camino label. And yeah, you guys, I guess I can take this off now. She was originally, let me see, $158. And I got her on clearance for under $90 under $90 so you guys if you guys are interested it had an array of colors so many colors you guys so I chose this color shocking pink and I cannot wait to style her <laughs> all right you guys so I'll see you in the next clip all right y'all welcome back <laughs> so look have you heard of this concoction of these four ingredients. I'm going to show y'all. Honey. Turmeric. Ground ginger. And vanilla extract. Okay, now, hear me out. These four ingredients, when mixed together, are supposed to be an antibiotic, antibacterial, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant for the body. So... When I saw the commercial, I was curious and I said, let me give it a try. So we are going to 
mix these four items together and see what we come up with. You're supposed to take this concoction one teaspoon every day, once a day. Let's see what happens. Let's get it together. Let's mix it right now. So here's our mixing bowl. Here's our honey. Now it's supposed to be half a cup of honey. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not too good at measuring half a cup. So I'm gonna use an actual cup to measure half a cup. Just bear with me. <clears throat> Let me go get it. Okay, so here we're gonna use this cup to measure a half a cup of honey. Okay, this seems like it's the right amount. Let me get a smaller bowl. Okay. I'm so curious. <laughs> All right, so. Making sure, let's add a little bit more for the residue that's left at the bottom. Okay, that's definitely about right. Half a teaspoon of ginger. Here's our ginger. Here's our teaspoon. That's about right. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Here we go. Probably a little much and I want it, but that's fine. And here is our turmeric, which will be another one tablespoon. All right, there we go. Let's mix this up. And hopefully we get the consistency that we need. It looks like it. Turmeric, all that turmeric that was on the spoon. Let's get it in there. And we're going to store this in a refrigerator after we take our first teaspoon dosage. All right, so here you go. This is the consistency. It's more like a caramel consistency, if you will. All right, so I'm doing this for the first time on camera. I want y'all to see. Let's try it. Now it says to take one teaspoon. I'm losing some off. There we go. Okay, one teaspoon. Mmm. It's not bad. It's just a little bit too sweet for me. But it's not bad, y'all. I hope y'all get a chance to try this. And I will definitely keep you guys posted as to how my body feeling. And it's really not bad. All right, you guys. See you next clip. <laughs> Welcome back. It is another day. It is a new day. We just got a package, y'all. So, I don't know if I shared this with you guys, but I was trying to create like a coffee station in my kitchen but i didn't want to get an actual cabinet more so like a um 
console table that was aesthetically pleasing to the rest of my kitchen. So it came today. Let me show y'all what it looked like. <laughs> okay, so this is part of it. I do have to put it together. And it's supposed to be very, it's supposed to be reminiscent of quartz. So yeah, so here it is. Here's part of the material part of the console table and here's the other piece so we're going to put this together now my plan is bear with me my plan is to have it in this area right here now those who've been watching me for quite some time this was in the den area we're going to move this back into the den area and keep it as a cocktail you know, uh, adult beverage area for in the den. Um, I do have to straighten up the den, so that's, that won't be a part of this video, but um, you will see it in probably next week's vlog. So we're gonna create our coffee station right here. I thought that this would be a great um, area for it to be in. I was trying to match as close as I could to our existing courts. Um, it is a little different, but I don't think it'll make a big difference because it's going to be located on this side of the kitchen. So that's what we're doing. I clean up all of this. Yeah, it's, it's always something, you guys. Always something to do when you have a home or in, in your living space, period. So let's put together this new uh, quartz-like, marble-like. I don't know which one. I forgot which one it was. Um, console table that is from convenience concepts um i can't think of, i have the website in the description box as to where i purchased this from but all right you guys stay tuned So here she is, finally. Um, I'm trying to decide on whether I should place her like she is up against the cabinet or make her, uh, put her, like center her in the wall. Um, let me try something. I think I'm gonna move her in the middle, the center of the wall. I don't wanna have her bump up against 
that cabinet, the pantry. So let's do that. Let's center her. that'll work I do have a flower that I was thinking about putting on that and all right y'all bear with me <laughs> all right that's it <laughs> I needed to free up some space on my counter so that's the main reason why I got this I was so sick and tired of having that cluttered space on my counter so this is going to be a coffee station and I'm thinking about actually ordering a black Keurig. So that's why I'm not going to really style her just yet. The black Keurig should be coming soon. So. So I'm going to leave her just like this for right now because I'm going to place an order for or go pick up a black or white Keurig. I'm not sure what color I went just yet, but I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I don't wanna put the existing Keurig or coffee stuff on the table just yet. Don't wanna style her just yet because I need to get the right Keurig machine. So, because like I said, I need to free up the spaces on my counter. It's driving me nuts. It's just too much going on over there. You know, I don't like a lot of clutter. So that's the that's really the reason why I purchased this as well. So I'm happy with her. She is so cute. I think she definitely complements my kitchen area. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm loving her. I'm loving her a lot. Um, so I'm going to close up the vlog, you guys. And hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you in next week's vlog. <laughs>